So, who are you? Hi Tom, uh, my name is Alexander Kostulovic and I work for Aliander, which is one of the biggest uh, grid operators in, in the Netherlands. Okay. And Alex, what are you demonstrating to me here today? So we're running a microgrid on this small island and this microgrid is based fully on open source technology and we have a radical new way of uh, balancing energy production and supply uh, within this island. In the old way of balancing a system, you would have a running a central optimization um, that is getting information from all the devices and telling all the devices when to turn on or off. But we've, we've gone with a totally different approach. We call it transactive energy. We're running a virtual market on this island. So each device on this, uh, on this, uh, is acting on this market and is putting out tenders or bids. And by doing this, it also affects the market and the market price. So you see here that um, the PV panels are producing one and a half watt each and the LED strip is consuming 0.2 watt per LED. So this is in balance right now. Um, what you will see is that when I cover the PV panel, uh, I take away supply, and when you take away supply, logically the price in the in the in the market will go up. So if you look at the screen, you see that the price goes up to 60 cents, and uh, some of the LEDs have turned off because the software agent uh, has decided that it wants to consume less. So we've taken an LED strip here because that is an easy representation of what. Um, yeah, what, what would be future flexible t demand in somebody's uh, household, in that future home. So you could envision this as maybe a smart washing machine that will turn on later at night, or an uh, electric vehicle that will start charging when the sun is there or when the wind production is there. So the wind produces a lot more power than the, than the solar panels, and it's uh, dr dumping that on the market uh, for nothing. So as a result, you see that the price drops to zero, and all the LEDs to turn on. What's the technology stack that is built on? So, most important to mention is that we fully open sourced uh, this technology under Apache 2.0 license. So you can go to github.com slash flexible, flexible power. Um, we'll put that in the YouTube video. And uh, we build it uh, fully in, in Java and OSGI. Most developers know this from uh, smartphone technology. Um, and there's a stack. So on the top level, we built a virtual market with the power measure technology. And from there on, we need to go lower to do connectivity with the actual devices. So you see the in-home gateway for connectivity with the devices. And on this gateway, we have a small operating system, a lightweight operating system running, which we call the Energy Flexibility Platform. Uh, this, this technology is also available uh, open source. And that's actually what you're seeing right here on the, on the screen. And uh, how, how scalable is this? I mean, we're seeing it here in a small little demonstration, but would this scale to a, a full-size grid? Well, actually, I think that's the, the coolest thing about this technology. As I explained before, uh, the old way of thinking is central optimization, and that doesn't scale really well, because with each device you add, the optimization becomes more complex. But in the power metric system, um, yeah, it's as simple as basic market economics. So all the devices are producing tenders or bits on the market, and the only thing we have to do at the central node is determine the, the equilibrium price. So we send, we send back that price to each of the devices, and they determine for themselves where they want to act on that. So it's fully distributed. And yes, it can scale virtually to any size. It's very lightweight, the protocol is very lightweight, and we could balance the whole world with this, basically. And who's maintaining the software? Do you have like a foundation or something? Yeah, the foundation is called the Flexible Power Alliance, hence github.com flexible power. Uh, and uh, part of that alliance is uh, numerous companies. Uh, the company I work for, Aliander, the grid operator. Uh, another big grid operator in the Netherlands. Um, for them it's a strategic investment because uh, we believe that this is, these technologies can help us make sure that we don't have to do these expensive grid investments in the future when there will be a lot more electric vehicles and heat pumps. 
Um, uh, part of the alliance are also software companies like CGI, the stand we're at right now, and Accenture, uh, TNO, the research institute where the concept uh, originated. And uh, yeah, uh, some other parties as well. I'll, I invite you to check out uh, our, our website. Okay. Yeah. That's been fantastic, Alex. Thanks for talking to us today. My pleasure.